So what Cilium allows you to do, it gives each of your pods kind of an identity, right? If we think about like moving like um, the DevOps style, it's from like pets to cattle. And with cattle, you have kind of like a label of things. So our role can be like front end or back end. And with these Cilium identities, what you're able to do is define policy of who is able to talk to who. So you can say front end can talk to back end or front end one can't talk to back end two. And this allows you to really like lock down your clusters. So when people at a very high level like to think about things like uh, zero trust networking, so a default deny posture where no traffic is allowed unless, unless it is explicitly allowed, um, a lot of people start to turn to network policy for that. And so what Cilium allows you to do is to define both Kubernetes network policies, which is uh, upstream Kubernetes, and also additional Cilium network policies.